But many of the emotions that are in us weren't our choice to get into us. They were the choices of others to get into us. Because, and the reason why is when we're a child, we are absorbing emotions from our environment without any filters. Right? So, as soon as, I'm, as soon as I have been conceived and my soul is attracted to my bodies, and so I'm now connected to my bodies and I'm now in my mother's womb, from that moment on I'm absorbing emotions from my surroundings. And that's the world of mankind, it's also my family, and it's also my parents, and then my parents in particular because they are the closest ones to me. Now, I'm not choosing, like the soul's choice right at the beginning is to accept everything from its environment. And in the end, that's where you will be as well. So as you deal with all of your emotions, you'll get to a point in the end where you accept every emotion from your environment. So right now, while I'm talking to you, and I'm looking at different ones of you, I'm feeling every one of your emotions. And it's entering me. Right? And you'll get to the point where you'll be conscious of that, what those emotions are. And you'll be able to even say to the person, did you know you've got this emotion and that emotion that was caused by this childhood event and that childhood event? And the person will go, wow. And yet every single person here has the same capacity to do that. Now the child has the most capacity to do that. So the child absorbs all of the emotions from its surroundings. And this is why we need to, as adults, start creating better surroundings in a soul level. So while the child is like that, it's absorbing these surroundings, that's the way God built it, so that every single one of you are able to absorb all the emotions from all of your surroundings perfectly. The problem is, is that many of those emotions are damaging to the child. And so the emotion of unworthiness, which is one of the most damaging emotions in the human race, automatically gets absorbed even by the time the child is born. And we can change that, but it wasn't your choice to feel unworthiness then, but now you need to make the choice to feel it, to let it go. Do you follow me? Mm -hmm. So you need to at some point say, this emotion is in me, and now it's in me, I need to let it go, and I know it's unfair, that's what it feels like, and it's another emotion I need to feel, that it was unfair. And the truth is, it is unfair. Every single time a parent imposes its emotion on a child, the parent is being unfair. You follow me?